Between the lions. How does a young child learn to read? By learning short vowels. A pretty good place to start. It's an E like we see in Ben and Hen. And it sounds like an E in the middle of ten. And consonant sounds? I am wasted and woeful and wilted and tense. What's with double use of what sound? It doesn't. And how sounds go together? Vocabulary is important. Giant. Enormous. A few rules are helpful. When two vowels go walking, the first one does a talking. In both you hear the O and not the A. It all leads to the sheer pleasure of reading. Each Monday at dawn, Mrs. Nellie McNosh brings out a barrel and does a big wash. She hangs up the stockings. She hangs up the shoes. She wrings out the paper and hangs up the news. No yeah. program puts it all together like Between the Lions. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. Wow. A seven-time Emmy Award winner, it's been selected twice by the Television Critics Association as the nation's best children's series. Bravo! USA Today calls it a proud feather in the cap of PBS. TV Guide wrote, it's the cat's meow. The New York Times said, it's out of this world. And the Dallas Morning News raved for literacy, literature, and learning how to read. It doesn't get much better than Between the Lions. For the first time in decades, the National Education Association endorsed a television series, encouraging its three million teachers to use Between the Lions in their classrooms. Today, Between the Lions is the program most used by elementary school teachers across the country. Using the video as a teaching tool is really wonderful because they're engaging. Their little brain is always going. It's all because Between the Lions works. Multiple research studies show stunning results. In a University of Kansas study, children watching Between the Lions outperformed control groups four to one in letter sound correspondence. A Mississippi State University study found that preschoolers who watched Between the Lions significantly outperformed control groups in initial sound fluency. Kindergartners in this same study of high poverty children did equally well. The University of Pennsylvania studied the impact of Between the Lions among American Indian children in New Mexico. The number of children at risk for reading failure dropped from 39% to 12%. At the outset of the research, only 23% of children scored above average in key early reading skills. By the end, 64% scored above average. When we implemented Between the Lions curriculum, the children were reading. I got a reason, I got a reason, got a good reason to read. Many dramatic gains are in the rural south, where Between the Lions advisors conduct intensive workshops with local teachers on how to use the series in their classrooms. Hard to reach children become readers. And fans. Each week, in thousands of classrooms and millions of homes. Who reads every day? Between the Lions proves it is possible for every child to get wild about reading. <laughs> that blows my mind. <laughs> okay.